an artist that has manifested against all odds. Born in 1985 in the Moroccan capital of Rabat, Saad is the son of well-known classical singer, Bakir Abdu, and Nezar Regregui, a popular comedian and an actress. From the tender age of four, Saad al-Bakir Lamjard displayed an interest in music, often singing his father's songs and kept entertaining his school peers with his talent while in school, and went further to attend the Conservatory of Music in Rabat for extensive studies in music theory. He has finally emerged with a hybrid of urban and traditional harmonies, infused with a Moroccan and Khaliji singing styles. His musical journey over the years has resulted in his collaborations with artists like Sophia Montessor, Mohamed Ramadan, Kalama and many more. During his visit to the United States in February 2010, Saad Lamjard was accused of beating and raping a French-Moroccan woman from Brooklyn, New York, charged for this conduct. He was arraigned before a court and was granted bail and Saad fled the U.S. after his bail was granted. With the dark clouds of rape still hanging on his personality, Saad went into acting in 2011, unfazed by the pending court case, playing the male lead in Alam Nassim, a Moroccan TV soap opera. The producers of the TV opera casted him knowing very well that his acting presence will surely draw a lot of eyeballs. Even though he was on TV, he still maintained his musical presence by working extremely hard in studios and releasing his debut album, titled Walla Alaikan, in 2013. Wonderful songs like Enti, Salina Salina, and Al Malam were among the songs he released. His hit song, Al Malam, which simply means the boss, earned Guinness World Record achievement in 2015 by amassing over 22 million views in just three weeks after the music video was uploaded to YouTube, which set an unprecedented record for an Arab singer. Please subscribe to our channel, press the like button, hit the notification bell and leave your comments below. Six years after his alleged rape accusation, Saad's accuser was persuaded by her family to stop cooperating with the case prosecutors. Thereafter, a settlement was reached between him and the U.S. lady, prompting the case to be dropped by the U.S. court in 2016. Automatically, he escaped accountability from the U.S. prosecutors. His dark clouds resurfaced again in the same year, when he was accused by another Moroccan lady who sued him of sexual harassment and abuse in an apartment in Casablanca, Morocco. She claimed that the incident happened back in 2015. She eventually withdrew the lawsuit due to backlash from fans and the general public alike. Regaining his voice after the rape accusation, Saad released a song titled, Let Go. In this song, he indirectly spoke to his rape accuser, expressing his disappointments and frustrations. The song gained over 140 million views worldwide. The type of ovation he received upon the release of the song showed just how popular he remained as an artist. Unfortunately, during his holidays in France, on August of 2018, Laura Priawal, a French citizen, accused Saad for the third time of rape. The French police got Saad arrested and he spent six months in a French prison, but was later released on bail under an electronic surveillance tag. The Moroccan king intervened on his behalf and agreed to cover the singer's legal fees for his defense in France. Many of Saad's fans said that the singer was the victim of a plot by the Algerian government, which has strained diplomatic relations with Morocco. They believed that women are used by the Algerian government to defame Saad. During the singer's incarceration, the Moroccan government media kept broadcasting images of tiny protests held in solidarity with him. It was different stokes for different folks, in some areas, when the news of his third rape accusation filtered down, a campaign started on social media with the hashtags sought out and Masektach, a Moroccan term expressing refusal to be silenced, with some people equally demanding that his songs being taken off the radio stations throughout the country. The Saad anti-campaign went as far as Saudi Arabia and beyond. Saad's 2016 rape accusation nightmares refuses to disappear. In 2020, the French prosecutors reinstated the rape case against him again, stating that they have an answerable case against him. Despite his controversy, Saad Lamjard has kept gaining fame and continued making good music. In June 2020, he became the first Arab African singer to receive the diamond button, after reaching more than 10 million subscribers on his official YouTube channel. An artist who has won several accolades including, Angami Arab Music Streaming Most Watched Artist Award, Arab Nation Music Awards, Morocco Music Awards, 
With a net worth of about $15 million, he is riding on a good fortune. Due to his various rape ordeals, he has been hiding his romance life from the prowling eyes of the public and did confirm that he is single and not ready to get married yet.